Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow so that as I have done for you, you should also do the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, we enter into the Scriptures this evening with death, in our first reading, the death of the firstborn, the final of God's plagues somehow seems relevant to us today. And we close the readings with Jesus acknowledging the betrayal he is about to undergo so that he might go to his death. We're living in very strange times. But between the two readings, we have something very special. We have beauty and a reminder of who we are as Catholics. St. Paul speaks to us of the Eucharist. First offered in that room on Holy Thursday the first, remembered and recalled and reenacted down through the centuries to this day. We're a people of beauty. We're a people of memory. That memory is called into practice maybe a little more these days. Because we can't all be together. We can't all be here to sing the 
the music together. We can't smell the incense. We won't be able to wash feet. But our memories, our memories remind us the importance of that. And if any of us have been around for any period of time, we have that smell of the incense in our hearts and we know the prayers and we see the actions of the washing of the feet and we partake even as spiritually in communion. My friends, beauty and mystery remain. The mysterious the things that we cannot understand are present again with us today. Jesus answered, All I am doing, you do not now understand. But you will. So let us call upon our memories. Let's call upon our Lord. Let us ask Him, beg Him for His mercy. Ask that the world may be made whole again. God uses all things for the good. We do not know yet what that is. But we've already began to see some of it, haven't we? Kindnesses from our neighbors that maybe weren't there before. An extra step to help another person. Meals being delivered to people. We're remembering the poor again in a way that we haven't before. We're finding new ways to wash other people's feet. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So let us keep in our minds and our hearts those people who are ill, those people who are out of work, our friends, our neighbors, our fellow parishioners, Pray that God have mercy on them and on ourselves. And pray that we be reunited soon.